Hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to Total War Warhammer. I'm turning the game down a little bit, because I feel like it needs to be done. Uh, it has come out earlier than I expected it to. Um, I was expecting it this afternoon, and it's already out, so yeah, that's a thing that happened, and I guess I'll be uh, playing it now. Uh, and actually... I feel like something we do really need to do is change this a little bit. We're not going to run it in a window, and we're going to have it full-on big, big. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, if this is a little bit difficult to read, let's just see if it is. Full screen. Uh, it should be alright for you guys to read, but if it really does end up being a pain, uh, then I'll switch things around a little bit. Uh, so keep that in mind. Alright, so we've got the Empire, we've got the Dwarves, we've got the Greenskins, the Vampire Counts, and the Warriors of Chaos. That's that's a really low number of uh, factions, honestly, for a Total War game. But, you know, wh what are you going to do? So we've got to decide first up. Um, we've got to decide first up who we're going to be. Now, the Empire's cool and all, but I still find them fairly bland in fantasy games. You know, who wants to be the human, right? Uh, we got the dwarves, which would be a kind of standard piece of, uh, piece of, like, go, you know, this, that standard one I could go with because, you know, I've got a giant beard and dwarves have giant beards. Um, and we've got the green skins, which is obviously the orcs and goblins, mostly. Really, the Doom Diver top catapult is one of the top uh, top projectiles. That's interesting. Uh, fightiness, animosity, war, and uh, use underweight. Then we've got the vampire counts. Uh, can only capture territories belonging to vampire counts or any human factions except for the Norsk. Raise dead. New units can be raised from the dead in any province. Famous battle sites provide bonuses to the quantity and quality options uh, available. Corruption. Vampiric corruption can spread into enemy territory. And then we've got the Warriors of Chaos. Uh, we've got the Chaos Giant, the Hell Cannon, the Chosen. Horde. Faction has no settlements. In the okay, so this, this seems kind of... I think it's probably a choice between the Dwarves, the Greenskins, and the Vampire Counts. And I still feel... Sorry, the music's going to cut out again. I know this is annoying, guys, but I just need to get it to my satisfaction. That should do. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so you can, you guys can hear me decently, but the music isn't, like, going over me too much. Um, so it's between the dwarves, the greenskin, and the vampire counts. I think the greenskins would be very interesting, and considering how much people loved me playing the orcs in Battlefleet Gothic... I'd like to go for them, but the Vampire Count seems like something a bit new, a bit, you know, a bit more interesting. So I think for our first playthrough, our first Let's Play of it, it's going to have to be the Vampire Counts. So uh, let, let's let's use the Vampire Counts to begin with, you know, get used to the game, see how it goes. Te technically, I think we should do the Empire for that, but um, I, I, I want to be, be a bit different. I don't want people to, you know... I don't want to do the same thing everyone else might do, which is either play the Empire or the Dwarves. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll play we'll play the Vampire Counts and see how we do. So, the vampires have ever been a plague on upon the living, and none more so than the Von Karsteins. Oh, Von Karsteins. An abominable bloodline of undead nobles from the deathly realm of Sylvania. Uh, they inevitably strike out from this region at the head of mighty undead hosts. Uh, host. Power-hungry necromancers... Zombie hordes and ranks of skeletons. Oh, ranks of skeletons, tomb skulking crypt ghouls, and the bestial Vargolfs are just some of the nightmares a vampire lord can summon to his indomitable will. Vlad was the primogenitor of the von Karstein line, but Manfred was equally feared, finally being brought to bay at Hellfen and slain. What is no longer living is never easy to kill. Manfred has risen again. The dead have never rested easily in Sylvania, and now they lurch from their graves, summoned to unlife by the midnight aristocracy, 
as Manfred prepares to challenge mankind once more. He is the Eternal Emperor, the Usurper, Karl Franz will learn this at his cost, and all the living will pay tribute to von Karstein's unholy majesty. Uh, and then we've got the Vargulf, the Terrorgeist, the Hexwraiths, playstyle, strong batic battle magic options, including raising of dead, units cause fear, crumbling, instead of rooting, units will suffer casualties when losing in combat. Some battle casualties are automatically raised from dead post-battle. No missile units. Okay. Let's try it. So, uh, we'll have the introduction. we got Manfred von... Oh, we got two guys. Oh, okay. So you can get... You can take different, uh, like, leaders in each faction, I guess. So we got Manfred von Karstein or Heinrich Kemmler. Powerful wizard, master of uh, the lore of vampires. Or the faction leader, Manfred von Karl. I think we'll go with this guy because he's the, the dude. We'll stay on normal difficulty for now. Uh, yeah, start campaign. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orc Warchant. Now that's uh, fairly apropos. How are the loading times? Doesn't look too bad. Reeds Garden Knights, your Emperor is calling. Okay, so this is uh, a quote from a dude. Death or glory awaits us, but if we die, we will die as warriors with swords in hand, and there can be no better death than that. Yeah, I mean, you know. And we're back to the Orc War Chant, of course. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, guys. Like, I know uh, a lot of my... A lot of my kind of videos on Total War Warhammer so far. I'm going to say Total Warhammer. Total Warhammer makes so much more sense to me. It rolls off the tongue better. Um, but I am still looking forward to it. I am prepared to be disappointed. But that doesn't mean I'm not also looking forward to it. Because it is a Warhammer game. And even if it's a bad Total War game and a bad strategy game, it's still a Warhammer game. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet for this for you guys. Uh, you know... Uh, in War is eternal. I'll just let you guys enjoy this. As inevitable as the grave. The old world, the rotting corpse within. Some fools think it worth saving. But there are beings who wish to bring about an eternal night. I am a bearer of law to those with such power. Manfred has returned from the dead once more. He marches on the von Karstein ancestral pile of Castle Dragonhof. For I have brought him ill news that a master necromancer has claimed the fortress as his own. Manfred must retake his ancient stronghold and either destroy the usurper within or bind him to his will. Feeble wretch, come hence from my fortress and kneel before thy lord. Drakenhof stones are bound by mortar of mine own blood, while yours shall be sprayed across the battlefield as I wrench the head from thine shoulders. Huh. Your forces begin their attack, my lord. See for yourself. Okay. So we're not actually controlling this, I guess. Oh, did he die? No, he's alright. What have we got here? We've got some crypt horrors. Oh, hello. 
Uh, we got some skeleton spearmen. Ooh, be okay. Sure to join the fight yourself. The warriors will be greatly inspired by your presence. So select, advance your units. So are these two my units? Uh, yep, those two are my units, okay. So we want to move to here. Okay, so this is almost like a tutorial, I guess. Uh, that's 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 cool. I'm I'm willing to do a tutorial for this. It seems to be like integrated into the game, which is quite cool. Maybe you can skip it later. Uh, let's watch the cool shit though, shall we? Oh, fucking bats! Those vampire bats. Fell bats. The what? Huh? Uh, advice. Okay. Okay. Uh, pre previous help pages. Press F1 to bring up the game guide. All right. So what do we what do we got here? We got these guys who. Join the fray. Show them that upon cast time once again stalks Sylvania. Can we slow this down into? Okay, we can slow motion. So, and how how much can we? Oh, we can really get in the fight here. Okay, so first off, let's have a look at how it looks. Um, so, this is probably not the best uh, one to have. Are there any? Ah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we've got some skeleton spearmen. They're coming out. So we'll have to... I'm not sure what it's telling me to do. Um, we got another set of... Uh, some zombies, the sword inventory, apparently. Uh, fighting some... Uh, fell bats over here, and I think we're getting shot quite a bit. Okay, so this is what I want to see. Uh, there we go. So, how is how is the the unit kind of collision going, basically? So, we've got the skeleton spearmen here, and we got the enemy here. Is it as much of a blob fest as it was in the previous games? I can only assume it kind of will be, but it seems it seems like the units are holding a little more cohesion uh, than you might think. So that's to a certain extent that's not too worrying. Um, I guess we're supposed to be going in at these guys. Uh, let's have a look over here. So we got a uh, we got our Vargulf there. That is just a giant bat, basically. Uh, we got our guys. Uh, we've got the Grave Guard coming in here. And seeing how they come in, it's not too bad. Uh, the reason I'm going in, in slow motion right now is I just want to check out everything, basically. I just want to see how it... the sides and the rear of the enemy where possible. They will crumble to dust if surrounded. Okay, so I want you to, like, go here. I don't want you to go in on them. you got, like, the skeleton spearmen. And yeah, they seem the 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 units seem to hold uh, ranks a lot better than in previous uh, than in previous games. I mean, obviously you got a big guy like this. They try and surround them. This looks a little bit more promising. I will press play here now. Um, this this looks a little more promising than I I you know I was a little bit worried about this kind of thing. Uh, so we're going to run our guys in, and then charge our lord in here. Damn. Okay, so let's just pause here. So, uh, one thing that we know is that when the, uh, when the enemy starts to flee, it instead crumbles. So you, you lose the, uh, you lose the, the skeletons, or, you know, whatever enemy they are. So let's play this. Okay. So you can see that they're, they're like, it looks like they're starting to crumble here. Ah, it's an enemy Vogelf. Interesting. So run him to there. These guys can go this way. Be sure to take charge of the forces you control, sir. Effective command of your army is a skill worth mastering. These lands are mine. Run into them. I want you guys up this way. These guys. Okay, so these guys. Oh, okay. Wait, what do I have to do here? Uh, controlling multiple units. Uh, take control of your... And enter the city. Okay. 
So what we want to do is we want to take control of these guys and what do we got here? Zombies? Okay, so with some zombies, uh, well, we got spear infantry. Okay, so we probably want the sword infantry. Uh, they aren't doing amazing. So let's send the uh, the sword infantry and the Vargulf charging in to there. And then we'll have these guys move up with our leader in tow. Uh, space doesn't unpause. And that's probably what we should be doing right now. Those look like theirs. And uh, this look, like, so far, like, the look and the feel of it is very, very cool. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. There you go, mate. Yeah, so I, I decided, like, sword, in sword infantry probably pretty good against uh, zombies. Um, as opposed to, like, the spear. And, of course, we take the Vargulf in there as well. And, um, that's great. Looks like they're, uh, they're breaking as well, so, you know, they'll, they'll start dying quicker. Alright, what are you talking about? Magic. Uh, wizards can cast powerful spells in battle, either to aid or a valuable, or available spells are shown on the Winds of Magic panel when the wizard unit. So, I'm guessing this is my, ah, okay, here we go. Uh, so, uh, casting spells depletes the available winds of magic, uh, which we charge over time. So you can see the winds of magic here. Power 30 out of 30, power reserve 60, recharges one power per second. And then we've got the gaze of Nagash. Nagash is, oh, if Nagash is in this game, I will cream everywhere. Uh, type magic missiles, enemy 250, cannot use if climbing, manning equipment. Causes magic, it's got poor penetration. But uh, it might be really good uh, against, like, the Skeleton Warriors up here. Or we've got the Invocation of Nehek. Uh, it's an ally, cannot use if on target undead, cannot target if on a wall. Resurrects dead combatants, replenishes HP, heals injuries. Okay, so probably use it on these guys, right? So I'm going to watch this in slow motion because it's a... Uh, because it's a... Uh, 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 our first spell and everything. I think we want to see this in action. Okay, so are they like resurrecting? I don't see any resurrecting or healing happening. Resurrects dead combatants, replenishes HP of combatants. Oh, oh no. Okay, so this is this is while in battle. Okay. So that was a bit dumb of me. Let's move everyone in for now. Yeah, that, that my apologies on that one, really. Uh, that wasn't the smartest. Oh, we've got Vargeists coming in. Okay. Okay. I keep pressing space instead of uh, anything else. So let's try the this on. Uh, we've got two sets of zombies. Uh, we could try on these guys. Yeah, let's let's try the uh, the gaze of Nagash on them. Uh, so let's go slow mo again, because that one really didn't work. Where's my where's my wizardly dude? Is he casting it? Oh yeah, he's casting it. Okay. And those go flying. Oh! Your presence can sway the battle, sire. Your words and actions can inspire the troops before you. Okay, so we got. Influence and abilities. We want these guys in here, definitely. Uh, uh, we want these guys, I think, on these guys. We want these guys going in. Actually, they should probably go in on them. And you guys going on, going on them. And then our leader as well, I think if we can, we send him in on them. Okay. Uh, and let's put the resurrection on probably these guys, the graveguard. Okay. 
So it looks like these guys are coming in now to uh, to have a little orgy with us. All right. Damn! Did my hero just fucking wreck one of them? So we should be uh, healing and resurrecting for a while uh, with with these guys here. Like losing a few skeleton spearmen isn't an issue for me. Keeping the slightly stronger units is a good thing, however. That looks like the enemy. Where's my big guy? There he is. Oh, those are allies. Never mind then. Go after these guys. Uh, so we've we've wrecked them and we've killed them as well. Alright. Let's uh, move up to the center. So what do we have to do? Harder city, uh, press forward. So we have to get to here. Ooh. Van Kluger joins the battle. He fights amidst his mounted troops. Van Kluger. Van Kluger. Are those ours? Yeah, they're, okay, those are our fell bats. That's cool. Okay, so I think what we want to... Got some crypt horrors as well. Sweet. I think what we want to do is maybe fire in... The, the things again and then send these two straight at him. Uh, I think we want to use these guys on the grave guard and this guy uh, okay well these guys didn't go after their target. I think we want to hold this guy for now have our leader up here you guys come on let's let's go get him. Where's the enemy? There we go. No, 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 no. Let's, uh... Let's send them... Send them... There we go. Send them in on him. So he's kind of... He's kind of come forward. Let's just check this out. Because this is... This is a hero, like... It is in his last minutes, as it were. So he's just, like... Getting... Oh... He's not going to go down easy, apparently. Hey, he's absolutely surrounded. And for some reason, the rest of his army hasn't joined in, which is weird. Maybe that's like a bug or something. Oh, no, they're coming. Maybe. I think the lack of, uh, the lack of anything ranged will be very interesting, to be honest. Okay, you. Sorry, you. Oh, those are allies? The White King. Okay. Mounted troops. Guess we send them in there. It's not really doing a good job of showing me who's taking hits, though. That's the only thing. I guess the Grave Guard there are taking hits. So we'll put the Resurrection on them. There we go. The battle is won, my lord. Nice. The enemy servants of that pretender are driven from your castle. Victory. So he's like, is he? He looks looks like he was still alive, but okay. Uh, Volkmar, just look at him. He never wavers and never yields. Some say he never even sleeps. Everything about his, him is bent to that one great task of holding back the darkness. He can't do it alone, but then again, he doesn't need to. Okay. Factions of a particular race receive bonus to diplomatic relations, relations and therefore tend to stick together. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have, uh, we're going to have, um, you know, different factions of the same race. So, for example, the vampire counts, the dwarves, you know, there's different factions. And it seems like um, there's no kind of... It seems like there's no take over the whole world and win. It's more like defeat your enemy. Like, you know, so the vampire counts have human enemies, which I think... I uh, thank you for your offer of immortality, sir. But I shall forego the blood kiss I'm more for useful now. to you alive. I'm more useful to you alive, for there is much to be done. Okay. So, 
this is still the tutorial, so we'll keep this going for now. Dragonhoff Interloper has fled back to his fortress, and Dragonhoff is secure. But enemies abound on all sides. See for yourself. Right, roll. The dwarfs control the mountain passes to the south. They are no friends of your kind, and will strike out at you if allowed. Okay. So examine positions of importance, one out of three. So, oh, so we have to go and look around. So we got the dwarves out here. Um, is there like a... There's some orcs over here. Okay, so I, are these positions of importance? Ah, okay. Passage to the west is blocked by the dark lords of Schwarzhafen, sir. They have feuded with Van Kruger in the past, and no doubt watch your struggle against him keenly. All right, and then we've got Van Kruger has retreated to Castle Templehof, a fortress he wrongly claims as his own. It will take some effort to wrench him out. Okay, so okay, and then we have to do that. So yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far. I think I'll go a bit further in this initial video. You know, most likely once I get going uh, with the proper uh, Let's Play, you know, this is part, like, first look tutorial gameplay type thing. Uh, once I properly get going into the Let's Play, the videos will probably be around 20 to... Tw probably 25 to 30 minutes, I think, is acceptable f length of video for these and there will be a lot of them guys so especially if you're new and you've only just found me uh do chuck me a subscription because i'm going to be doing a lot of this so you know so far it looks pretty damn good it may be like the initial Van kruger is nothing more uh, than a feeble lich a necromancer that needs bringing to heal you must advance against templehof seize his positions and turn the dead against their former okay master. so we have to select our army Advance towards Castle Templehof. Wipe them out. Okay. Excellent. The enemy scries your movements. The necromancer will no doubt be planning counter maneuvers of his own. Okay. Your forces are depleted by battle, sire. Yet such a shortfall is easily solved by your kind. Raise the slain to fight at your banner. March upon the enemy using their own warriors. Additional select from Karstein's army. Okay, so additional units can be recruited into a selected army in the recruitment panel. Ready. Okay, so recruit units. Cost of recruit uh left click on a unit card. So we've got like the skeleton warriors there and the zombies. Uh it says raise some recruit some extra units and the cost uh is shown on and sub, so there's the, there's our treasury which is total dark magic for us and there's our predicted income and obedience to vampires stronger the grip the vampires have on society the more docile the reigning mortal population becomes okay so let's take two and one your army must remain in place whilst raising new bodies to fight Soon it will be swollen with the dead. My so, Lord. so we got two uh, skeleton warriors and one set of zombies. Dragon half has suffered in your absence, sire. But now a von Karstein inhabits its halls once more. You can restore the castle back to its former majesty. Okay. So we select uh, we select Castle Dragonhof. Provide more room for the dead to rest, and you will gain more souls to resurrect. See that the necessary expansion is made. Okay, buildings within a settlement can be uh, browsed, constructed, repaired, and dismantled from the province overview panel. Oh, if you like, okay. So if you like hover over settlement or buildings, it'll like f highlight them. Uh, a buildings roll out panel is shown when the mouse cursor okay so we just have to place like over this and there you go on the left over there there's like Dragonholf and then you've got the upgrades and everything castle dark castle accursed city etc and then you've got the uh, cemetery uh, gives us skeletons and zombies 
and growth and tax and etc. And then we upgrade it, and it gives us the Grave God and the Skeleton Spearman. Okay. Excellent. Construction will begin immediately. And it's going to take two turns. All right. Seek ways to further even your vast knowledge of the dark arts, my lord. Put your most devious minions to work on improving your methods of war. Okay, so then we've got the technology panel, which is over here. Uh, we've got, uh, so it says, start researching a technology. I guess we have to research the... Oh, okay, so we've got all these choices here. So what's, what do they do? Uh... Recruitment cost for skeletons. Oh god, what's this? Uh, it doesn't really give us much more. Uh, so this is like weapon strength for crypt ghouls, crypt horrors. And then we've got like upkeep for fell bats and dire wolves. So this is like... And then we've got over here growth. Alright, uh, so I reckon... For now... We'll just go with the skeletons. We'll go with the book of Arcan. Good. In time, the knowledge they gain will surely aid your cause. You know, uh, we'll we'll look more in depth uh, soon. My lord, but for now, there's nothing more you can do now. Let us await your enemy's next move. And then we end the turn. Okay. Oh, there's a whole load of different. Uh... Oh, are they attacking us? Van Kruger knows his position is weak and has sent out an army to check your advance. Their strength can be added to your own. Attack! Okay, so mission issued. Uh, the Temple of Brood must be crushed in battle before they're able to regain their strength. Another victory against Van Kruger's army will leave his lands ripe for the taking. Defeat an army belonging... Okay, and when we get dark ma magic for it, and we can zoom to location if we so choose. But we don't need to. We need to attack. Okay, so we're definitely the more powerful here, and we fight the battle. I guess we could not fight the battle, but so far from what I can see, it looks like the battles are the more important bit in the game, and also I want to battle more. Manfred von Karstein, spellcaster, armoured, melee expert. Cunning, devious, and powerful, Manfred von Karstein sees all before him as prizes to be claimed. Awesome. We got some fell bats, and is that a big dude as well? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I think, I think, like, there's a part of this that I'm not really... Zombies, expendable, driven not by skill, but by desire to feast on flesh. Zombies are good, terrifying fodder in melee. Risk magic for more favourable wins. Oh. So what does this do? I think we'll gamble just purely because, but uh, first of all, we'll just have a look here. Um, we've got our skeleton warriors. We've got a whole load of zombies. They're, they're not like ranks, which is interesting, you know. So they I guess they really are fodder. And then we've got like our crypt ghouls here who look... Uh, cudgel infantry, good binding. So here it's like good binding. Okay, so I guess that's the morale. Oh, awesome. Let's gamble. Oh, nice. Ronald is with you. We got two. Yeah, okay. Start deployment. Okay, so the enemy is kind of over on this left side, it looks like. Um, so if we, if we set up over this side as well, I think we have our zombies up in the front, like so. Uh, and get some bats over on this left side. And then we have like a core of skeleton warriors to assist uh, then we have our crypt ghouls on the side here who I think will probably send up the flank a little bit then we've got our var what how, how's it pronounced vargulf uh, we'll have him there behind the buildings uh, and then our leader I think is the only one left yeah we'll have him holding the core of our of our army which means probably there okay Okay, that's aggravating. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How do I halt? Halt, 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 halt. Halt. Ah, halt. There we go. Uh, so, we want to set formation. 
uh, missile front, melee front, guard mode, withdraw, group. There we go. Okay, so they don't stay while they're in group. They don't stay in formation. That's actually kind of aggravating. Uh, okay, so let's try. Let's just pause it very quickly and try this again. So we want these guys up front. Uh, we want him in the uh, middle, and we want the skeletons uh, kind of back a bit, like to there. Okay, and then we'll play it. And then what if we? Okay, uh, we're gonna have to halt that move as well. Uh, let's get them back to about here. There we go. Okay, so let's move our bats off this left side. Let's, let's move this guy uh, kind of over there. And then these guys can move up and maybe maybe get hidden a little bit. So if we select all of them, yeah, and then we push forward, then we can sort that out a bit. The, the whole grouping them, group block... Okay, okay, so that group block preserves their positions. So what we can do now is we can do that, and they'll go in the right places. That's that's much better. Sweet. Alright, and then you want to be moving up this way. You want to be moving up probably around here. For now. Okay, so we've got our dude. He's got uh, Spirit Leech. Direct damage. Uh... Causes damage to combat it. Strong versus single, weak versus multiple. Uh, then we got Law of Vampir Vampirism, which is the invocation again. So do we have a single? Yeah, we do. We've got a single on this guy. So he'd have to move forward for that. Alright. Uh, so let's grab the group. Uh, let's just see where everyone is. Okay. You move forward. Got our bats on the side here, right? Who I definitely think... You know, we want to bring round behind, probably. What have we got here? Some direwolves? Strong, flank secure. I don't know what they're good against and good... It hasn't really given, like, the strengths and weaknesses of the of the groups. And seeing it... Uh, I unlock that. See, seeing as it's kind of unsure... I think about there should do. Seeing as it, it doesn't tell you what is strong against what, I'm a little bit worried. So let's get them in here, see if we can have them... Man, these guys are fast, aren't they? I assume they're not as fast as the direwolves, who... Yes, they do indeed look terrifying. Okay. They look like giant rats. A little bit. Okay, you guys need to run back. There we go. Let's keep them on the flank then, and these guys should be able to move this way. Uh, movement speed is pretty high in the game, uh, in the battle and, and everything, but I think what we do is we pause it very quickly, and we get the attack going. And we get these skeletons, and we move them up to like there, and then you guys just move on the side a little bit. You can move up this way. Uh, we will play it, and then we'll move our flyers around the back for now. Slow it. Uh, our lord we will have here. So who's going in? Okay, so you guys go in against uh, probably them is the choice there. And then we got our guys fight with them. You uh, resurrect on these guys. Okay, and then let's get our skeletons on the flanks into there. Let's get these guys into there, these guys into there, and then these guys on them. And then we'll have these guys come, this guy come in on him, and these guys come around the back onto these guys, probably. How are we doing? Not amazingly. Not amazingly against them. Um, okay, yeah, let's have these guys come in onto them, I think. And now we'll uh, be playing it. 
So let's put this on this guy. Says it's good on one person, so. How you guys doing? Okay, we may need to pull up. Yeah, let's pull these guys off and send them over here against these guys. They may help, they may not help, but... You can see we're kind of using our zombies very, like, yeah. Okay, and we got the bats coming down on these guys, which it looks like it's helping quite a bit. Um... I want these guys to switch out. It looks like the dire wolves are done. Um, but I, I want to make sure these guys aren't too bad. And also we can get... Uh, if we go like up here, we can probably get a flank in action. How are we doing here? Oh yeah, they're crumbling. Okay, cool. And let's move him in into the center here. Move our hero in into the center. Is there anyone taking a lot of damage? Uh, the bats seem to be taking a bit of damage. So let's uh, run this on the... Uh, actually, probably these guys. The zombies. I know we don't really need the zombies, but... Everyone else... Well, those, those, those zombies seem to be... Oh, they're crumbling a little bit. Okay. And there's my hero gone in there. Uh, these guys can come around the back. These guys can head back into the fray. Let's let's see a charge, shall we? Uh, let's slow-mo a charge and get a good look at one. Oh, they go pretty nuts when they charge in. Uh, although that was a very, very lame charge, I have to say. Okay, well, there you go. Alright. So we've got our bats on the... Uh, on the back there. Uh, these guys I want on this dude. There we go. Uh, our leader is doing well, but I think we should uh, hit another one of these on him. Which should uh, do decent damage to it. Yeah, he's getting a bit worked over there. These guys have broken them. Uh, those guys have been broken, so everyone... Oh, we've killed him. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're victorious. Corpses of the enemy litter the ground. Well, they're corpses already, so, you know. So, decisive victory. We lost 300 and a bit. They lost 700. They lost everyone. I guess that's uh, partially because... Um... Oh, is that the number of kills they got? So, our bats got a crap ton of kills, didn't they? That can't have been how many d d died, so... Pretty impressive for the impressive for the bats, at least. Our leader and our big guy did not do as much as I thought they, they would do. Archaeon, Lord of the End Times. Fear me, mortals, for I am the Anointed, the Favour, Son of Chaos. Scourge of the World, the armies of the gods rally, but okay. Do we get, like, a death loot gained. Ooh, nice. Uh, we got rank. So he, so I guess Manfred, yeah, Manfred leveled up. That's awesome. Uh, and then, okay, so send, uh, we've got an option here. So we've got send the captives to their homes unspoilt for a price. The enemy will show gratitude. Uh, return captives. This army is struggling after giving up a source of fresh flesh. Uh, murder captives. Uh, undead feasting upon corpses. Leadership plus four. Or dominate captives. Dominate the enemy minions. Let your will... Yeah, I think dominate is the way to go there. So, we'll dominate. That's really cool, however. Also, I'm pretty sure I killed that dude. But whatever, whatever. Uh, so, we got uh, a thousand dark magic as well. Enemy killed in battle. Dita the Stickler. Dita the Stickler, our enemy belonging to Tempelhof has perished in the battle at Castle Drakenhof, Eastern Sylvania. Sylvania? Sylvania? I'm not sure. Uh, Van Kruger has left Etchen wide open to attack, strike now and punish his error. Capture and occupy, okay. So, we have to capture this place. 
surely we could just... Oh, it looks like that would... Uh, okay. All die. And be my soul. So... We... Vampire Count, Siege Tower, Battering Ram. So I guess we want that. So that's going to take five turns, I guess. Uh, continue Siege. Uh, are you sure? Uh, character. Okay, so we've got skill points on this character. How do we... Character details. Oh, damn! Okay. So we've got armor, enchanted items, arcane items, mount... Yeah, there's there's a there's some interesting stuff in this. Uh, cooldown, invocation of neck, uh, leadership five plus five versus humans, uh, melee attack plus ten for dire wolves and fellback units. Okay, and then we've got our skills. So we've got the hunger, uh, passive ability replenishes HP of combatants. Uh, so I guess that just lets you drain while you're fighting got the invocation of neck which i thought i already had does this no so does it level them up or of supremacy uh any unit standing within the characters or area and battle receiver no i don't want to okay we can undo that good uh we've got the spirit leech we've got the restless dead campaign movement okay uh, we've got, like, Sword of Unholy Power. They're, like, quests and stuff you can do. Alright, uh, so we want to do probably... Uh, Spirit Leech's damage on one. I think the Invocation of Nehek is the way to go, though. For now, so we'll do that. Uh, and then we've got Replace Lord, View Records. Uh, what does View Records look like? Okay. Events, statistics, current turn, all that kind of... It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I think with multiplayer especially, it could turn really fun. Uh, so what else do we have here? Winds of Magic. Uh, we've got the unit count. Recruit units. We could recruit. We can't recruit units. And we've got our dark magic summary. So our income, our upkeep, trade, the details... Uh, we've got our technology, which of course we're working on the Book of Arkham at the moment. Uh, we have our objectives, which is long campaign. Maintain control of 20 provinces. Uh, destroy the following factions, the Empire, the Dwarves, and the Bretonians. Uh, okay, ensure that Archon, the ever chosen, is in a wounded state. Alright, that's long campaign. We've got short campaign and victory as well. Uh, then you've got the faction summary, so total dark magic, uh, income, faction effects, records, statistics, yep, yep, yep. Uh, then we've got the diplomacy as well. So here we can see the world. So we've got Temple Office there, then we've got another vampire count there, dwarfs there. We've got the bloody spears and orc faction, and then we've got the humans, okay? And there's the empire, which, well, it's the empire. And we, yeah. I mean, diplomacy is obviously not going to be a huge, huge thing, at least in my opinion. Fucking hell, there goes the dwarves. And there's some orcs up there as well. Oh, okay. I think we'll just automate, auto resolve that one, because honestly, like, there's. Wait, we were defeated? Valiant? Valiant defeat? We can't have been defeated, man. We were defending. What the fuck? Are you... Frickity goddamn kidding me? Oh my god. Um, so we got zombies, skeletons, and... Zelig Van Kru Apparently, yeah, no. Apparently don't let... Don't, don't let... Don't auto-resolve. Because I had, like... I had like 10 times the numbers there, so I don't know what the frickity fuck happened, but um, that's aggravating. Maybe maybe I should have paid a bit more attention to like the, I don't know. 
I think I think what happened is because they had a castle, you know, in the auto resolve state, my troops were still attacking the castle. Whereas what was happening is they were like sallying out to attack me. But it clearly didn't think that way and that happened, so. Alright. Zombies. Skellingtons. Lord. Bats. 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 Are they hidden? Are you guys hidden? Doesn't look like it. That's a bit of a shame. Definitely gamble. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, hell yeah, that'll do. Okay. I think we just start a battle. Okay, so let's see what they got here. Uh, they have some skeleton sword infantry, skeleton warriors, and a whole load of zombies. So probably the best way to deal with this is to use the skeletons as a punching force. Um, so it's weak versus multiple opponents. Causes damage, strong versus single. Hmm. There is a single guy there. Oh, the single... What is he? He's a necromancer. Zelig von Kruger. Okay. Well, this is very, very unfortunate. So let's just speed this up a little bit. Actually, the speeding up of it is not as much as I was expecting it to be. Uh, so... The, skeleton, the skeletons are going to be a pain, definitely. I should have taken the life leech thing for the fight. I think that's a, a very definitive mistake I made. Okay, so I think what we do is we charge them straight in there. Uh, let's slow it down. Uh, we charge them into them. We move him up. We use this on these guys soon. We get these guys ready this way. How are the zombies doing? Well, they're not happy. You butthole. I knew you were going to do that shit. Okay, and then what we do is we... Uh, on... Them. And then these guys charge in there. And then you charge in there. And then what we want to do is we want to use you to hit him. And I'm going to slow-mo this because I don't want things getting out of my control, basically. Um, so. Enemy Lord is wounded. Okay, so the Enemy Lord is actually dead. Uh, and that's our ability there. How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, they're breaking the fuck up. I don't, I don't think there's any way to win this, unfortunately. But I've got to give it a try. Critical binding, Lord incapacitated. Come on, guys. Okay, let's slow it down again. What's your cooldown, mate? On Okay, so there... Ah, uh, crap. Um, fuck, my Lord went down. Okay. Not much I can do now. Uh, I had to. I had to try and use him, but uh, this this is where the, the the army will basically crumble, unfortunately. Like I could have done it, but the you know the time frame involved and everything like that just made it not an option. Oh, that really sucks. We managed to make them... No, we lost... No, we lost more than them as well. Okay. That is what I would call unfortunate. Wait, so we lost our army? Character movement, AI faction, move display, limited. Yeah, that, that's good. Okay, so, 
Settlement besieged. Siege lifted. Foreign trespasser. Okay. So what do we do now? I guess that's the end of our garrison details. Okay. Uh, we've got the more like what's that? The building browser, recruit lord, uh, Gunther von Deal, dark accolade, call down to invection. Okay, honorable leadership plus. So I guess we recruit another vampire lord, and then start recruiting units. Raise dead. So what, what did we get there? We got a, we got skeleton warriors, skeleton spearmen, and zombies, and we can get we can. Raise units of skeleton warriors, zombies, skeleton spearmen, anti-large, charge defense against large foes. So they're they're good against the largeans. Then we've got the graveyard that we uh, need a building for. So I guess we'll go like skeleton warriors three, zombies four, and then like two skeleton spearmen, and go from there. There's an orc right there that I'm really worried about. I'm a little less worried about the orc right there, but also there's now dwarves running around, which cannot be good. What the hell is that? Winds of magic change. The fickle winds of magic spill from the realm of chaos and flow across the world. The winds wax and wane in an incompre incomprehensible fashion, at times blowing a gale while in others places becalmed. Now the arcane currents have changed once again. The stronger the winds are blowing in a region, the faster they will replenish in battles fought there and vice versa. Okay. So the winds of magic have changed. We've researched the Book of Arkham. Thank you. So we need to research again. Bond of Bones. Recruitment costs for skeleton warriors and spearmen. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work on that for now. And we should be getting uh, the building built any time now. We're almost on... Uh, yeah, uh, wait. Oh, this has been built already? Okay. So then we've got the military recruitment. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. We've got infrastructure. We've got military recruitment. So you can go for, like, the sinister corpse. So we can get like fell bats and dire wolves. Uh, we can go for this, which will get us the crypt ghouls. Okay, okay. Uh, and then we have like the military support, ancient armory, uh, recruitment of cairn wraiths, grave guards with great weapons, the black knights. Jeez, this is cool. Uh, then we got like the charnel pit, which gives us plus growth, uh, increased uh, income generated. Uh, increased income generated, plus public order, uh, vampiric corruption goes up. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, let's just do one more turn, and then we'll have the units we were trying to recruit recruited. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he, fr he freaking ran. We should be able to go after him, though. The Disappeared Castle uh, Drakenhof. The populace in one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for the remaining denizens, triangular circle dabbed on a nearby wall or gate. So we're losing people in in Castle Draken. Well, we're, lo we're not growing as much in Castle Drakenhof. Okay. So you need a population surplus to upgrade that. Uh, we have to n upgrade our main settlement build chain building first. So let's build uh, a cop, a sinister cops for the uh, fell bats and the uh, dire wolves, and that's only going to take one turn. Okay, uh, I don't think we attack him yet. I think we keep recruiting, so we can raise some zombies, which I think we'll do, and then we should get uh, some. Skeleton spearmen? Another another set of skeleton spearmen probably. And skeleton warriors. And then Yeah, let's let's get that, I think, for now. 
I don't want to go too OTT. So I guess that's like the winds of magic blowing through our our place. Your Lord Marshal has returned from absence once again active. Okay. For too long have we suffered the, uh, these thralls, so be at war with Schwarzhafen. Which I'm pretty sure is those guys. Okay. Vampire conflict. Okay, so we get a bonus to versus the vampire counts. But I think what we want to do, right, is we want to go over here. Okay. Uh, right. Right, right, right. Oh, we can actually go and uh, recruit some more, uh, more other guys as well. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, what are those? Crypt ghouls, okay. Alright, that's not the best, but uh, we'll have to... Wait, can we retreat? Well, that's going the wrong way. The winds of magic have changed. Uh, it doesn't say how they've changed. Okay. Okay, so the winds of magic are quite low in ours and high. That's high in theirs. Okay. Uh, so let's take these guys, move them back. Crap. Not sure why they had to go around that way, but okay. End the turn again, and we'll see if we can get like one more proper battle in uh, before the end of the video. So. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's get, uh, I think let's get two dire wolves and three fell bats. So that's going to take two turns. So let's get those turns done. War declared. Barakvav. Okay, so dwarves are going to war with the orcs. I don't think you need to declare war for that, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Do we have our bats and shit? Oh, we do not. Oh, we do not at all. Okay. Uh, so... They have Crypt Ghouls, skelling, uh, Zombies, Skellingtons, but mostly Zombies. I think we should take this fight, even though they've... Uh, no, I think we should move back. Now we have to take this fight. Alright, I think this will be the final fight for the first video, guys, because otherwise it will be too... Uh, I think I think it will be too... too long uh, as a first video but uh, I'm like it the, va the vampire counts are very interesting I'll give I'll give this to them they may not be that many factions like that many different races uh, you know there's obviously no elves like high elves wood elves etc uh, and obviously you know they're gonna be doing DLC because that's what they do and it's one of one of the only things that actually really like yeah start deployment one of the only things that really aggravates me. Um, so I'll have the Skeleton Warriors back up. Okay. Oh, yep. There we go. Um, and they've got Spearmen on the sides. But they don't have any big guys. They'd probably be good against, like, the Wolves and stuff, maybe. Like, even though they're not big. I would assume. So what we want is we want the... Let's take four zombies, and let's put them straight out front. Let's have a backup unit of zombies there, and then we've got the skeleton uh, warriors ready. Like, let's bring them, nope, not quite. Let's bring them to like there. Uh, he needs to stay there. And then we've got spear and some more warriors. So we'll put these warriors here as well. And then we'll have the spears on the sides like so to prevent flanking. Doesn't look like they have anything special about them. Okay, let's start. Let's speed it up and let them come towards us. Maybe I should have taken, maybe I should have gone for the blood drinking thing. And it's a shame we didn't recruit our bats or anything, but uh We'll hold here and let them come towards us. If we were, if we were like, 
if we were like the the dwarves or the empire, we'd actually have some really nice like cannons and and guns and stuff to fight a defensive battle. I think as the orcs and uh, and the vampire counts, maybe chaos as well. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about the chaos. I think you have to be a lot more aggressive. You know, you have to. They're not they're not defensive armies in the slightest, and those guys are going around the side very heavily. So let's uh, are those spears? Okay. Let's move them to the side then. So we've got sword, sword. We got sword and sword. What have we got here? We've only got the invocation of Nehek. So does it say that the skeleton warriors are good? It doesn't say that they're... Yeah, it doesn't really give you the information you need. Spear infantry, uh, better reach over swords, only making them better choice against larger enemies. Is So crumbling, disintegrating. Causes fear, charge defense versus large. Uh, hide forest, undead. Strengths and weaknesses. Uh, Anti-large, charge defense against large foes, shielded. Okay, so there's not... So far as we can see, there's not like a specific bonus. Uh, there's not like a specific bonus so far to having... Um... I want to keep my center fairly strong, but I don't want to be flanked. Uh, okay, so you... Let's keep our center strong. Where who are they charging into? Both? Both, I guess. Yeah, let's just slow it down a second so that I don't mess up too much. Uh, and then go in like that. And then you guys. There and there. Okay, let's get these zombies in there. Uh, and these guys will be ready to engage. I think we get... Yeah, they're doing their thing. I think we move these guys. No, we hold that for now. Uh, so, these guys are going in. They're going in on them. Uh, I think we move these guys. Ah, it's going to depend. I want to see where they go with this. Um, okay. We could charge into this, but then we got two units on our flank here. So, let's move these guys out. Charge these guys, uh, charge these guys in. Uh, these guys can go in on the Crypt Ghouls. These guys can move quickly out this way. The left flank, uh, charge them into them. They can fight them. How you doing? Attacked in the flank. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, the center... I think we move our lord into this fight here. Okay. And the battles don't seem to be quite as quick, which is good. So they're attacked in the flank as well. But the, this left side is actually going to be fairly... Um, Worrying, I feel. Right side is breaking a bit. That's not good. Lord is under attack. That's fine. Uh, okay, so you on him. Wrong one. Him. Oh, no. That's what he's done. Okay. How's the left side doing? Uh, Badly-ish. We're not doing great there. Right side's doing okay at the moment, but... They're not taking much damage, are they? Should we go after the Lord? Like, these zombies are freaking crumbling. And these zombies are crumbling here as well. I think, like, the Crypt Ghouls are... The Crypt Ghouls are good against them, basically. I think the Crypt Ghouls are going to make the difference here, uh, along with the obviously higher numbers, which is going to really hurt me. I don't... I can't think of anything I can actually do here, really. Like, I could pull these guys out and, and move them away, away a different way. I don't think it's going to help us. Just, like, you know, that that initial loss is is really hurting us right now. Uh, you know, the initial loss where I was like, oh, you know, there's like 10 people, you know, on the enemy side. 
so we can just uh, we can just auto resolve it. That was unfortunately a really critical mistake. Apparently, like I didn't realize quite how badly it would uh, affect us. Why are why are our skeletons losing so much worse to these guys? Units being wiped out. That wasn't our lord, right? Yes. No, our lord's there. Although he's not doing his... He's not doing amazing. Bolster those guys for now. Um, and then they're obviously going to be attacked. Okay, so... Like, let me just make my kind of closing... I think we'll have to, you know... I'll, I'll consider maybe doing another race for our first play. And not because I don't enjoy these guys. Just purely because um, I don't want to go f over the same thing in the next video. But uh, I think, like... I think, you know, one of the problems is going to be... Uh, you know, if I, if I do kind of carry on is it's just going to be me on the back foot because I lost my initial starting units uh, which is a really big problem um, so I think what I'll do is I may switch over to the orcs because I do love orcs uh, and you know we've had a nice little intro quick look uh, tutorial to the game like so you guys can see the gameplay and all that kind of stuff uh, The, those zombies there. They are kind of breaking on each other a little bit. Um, not enough. Like my guys are breaking on the enemy. Um, and also, I'd like to I'd like to revisit this once I know the game a bit better, and I know about like you know the I, I figured out the resurrecting and stuff a, a, a little bit better. So let's uh, let's let this uh, run down. We'll have like a. Uh, a famous last stand, probably. Um, yeah, because these guys are going to move off into them. The enemy lord is down. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, maybe, maybe it won't. But I can't see us winning here, in truth, but... Our guy's doing pretty well. Man, he looks good. He looks awesome, doesn't he? Shame he doesn't have any... Yeah, no, our, our units are, are getting wiped out, unfortunately. Uh, they have... They, ha they had, like, a fair... A fair larger number than us. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna charge into these guys. Come on, mate. Get out. Come on, get out. Get out. Get out. Now go. We're gonna bolster this right side and see what we can do here. Um, just purely because the left side got wiped out and I was like, let's, let's do our best, shall we? I can't believe they managed to take out the frickin' uh, the guys. Alright, well done, well done this spear infantry, they did really well. They're still crumbling, debilitated. It's a useful skill to have, but in these kind of situations I think a more, more impressive uh, spell is always going to be better. So let's keep the spearman up if we can. And it, yeah, it looks like these guys are definitely going down, unfortunately. Uh, the, the skeleton warriors did pretty well, but I think I think the first uh, the first proper let's play of this game is definitely going to have to be orcs now. So you know, if like just losing that army put us on the back foot so hard. That, uh, you know, we just got destroyed, basically. Which is, in a way, like, aside from... Aside aside from losing all those units for, you know, for pretty much no gain, no value. Um, 
I think it does show, like, that this game can be pretty hard. Uh, along with us being really stupid. And yeah, our Lord's definitely going down here. We'll watch his, we'll watch his final moments. But I think, uh, I think... Switching over, trying, trying... The, well, the main reason, actually, I wanted to do the vampire counts, aside from the whole, you know, undead resurrection thing sounding quite interesting, was I thought it would be kind of cool to fight against humans. You know, because humans are, like, the traditionally... Uh, I like how they disappear as well once you've lost everyone. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we inflicted a lot more casualties than they did. Uh, and they didn't have that many left, actually, either, even. But they had more guys than us. And they, the, uh, as, I, as I said, I thought the ghouls were going to be the difference. The ghouls did turn out to pretty much be the difference. Um, they, uh, they, they did a lot. They really did. And our, 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 our lord, though, however, got an impressive number of kills. 252 kills by himself. Like that, that's a hell of a, uh, of a last stand. Mm. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end as this video here. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and I do apologise about the the auto-resolve problem. You know, basically me being an idiot and not realising that if I auto-resolved it would attack the castle or whatever the bloody hell happened there. Uh, so in the next video guys, which I'm going to be putting out a lot of Warhammer Total War, a lot, lot of Total Warhammer out today uh so keep your eyes peeled you know it's going to be coming and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe it always helps me out a lot and i do really appreciate it um and yeah in the next one we'll be we'll be playing as an, an one of the orcs and actually just before i do my proper full-on uh full-on um outro what i will do is Let's check this out. Okay, so the Empire, you've got Karl Franz and Balthazar Gelt. Balthazar Gelt uh, can unlock a flying Pegasus mount. That's cool. So he's faction leader, and you can unlock Deathclaw, a unique griffin. He's got powerful lore of Metal Wizard. Uh, is there any difference? Oh, there's difference in the starting units. Then you've got the Dwarves. You've got uh, Thorngrim Grudgebearer. Uh, and Ungrim Iron Fist, you've got the Green Skins, you've got Grim Gore Ironhide, who I'll probably, st I'll probably start as him, to be fair. Although, oh, it's got Azag the Slaughterer! I'll have to do a play of Azag the Sla Slaughterer as well. And then, obviously, you've seen the Vampire Counts, and the Warriors of Chaos, you've got uh, Arch Archaeon the Everchosen, very cool. Uh, Colex Sun Eater, I actually don't know him. Dragon Ogre Shagoth, a giant monster, a gigantic monster. Okay. Uh, and then you've got Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. Uh, Chaos Corruption, and he starts with, he starts with a freaking Hell Cannon? Awesome. Got Chosen with Halberds and Chosen. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so, there you go guys, that is Total War Warhammer. Uh, I'm excited about it so far, it looks like it could be really, really good. So, uh, I hope you stick with me and, you know, we'll have many, many more mistakes. And also, hopefully, you know, some good times too. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.